Hey guys, welcome to uh, round two of the Road Warrior series. We're at Bathurst in the Mazda MX-5 Cup car. Uh, very quickly, I wanted to thank all of you who have subscribed to me because I reached uh, 50 subscribers over the uh, last couple of days. Without further ado, uh, let's get this thing started. 40 minutes around uh, Bathurst. Alright man, the pace car is in. Green, green, green. And already we have trouble. <laughs> oh my god, he's flipping everywhere. I think he flipped out of the track, actually. Car on your right. No, I can't Stay either. Left. Holy shit. <laughs> all clear, all clear. Got one on your right. Been a long time since I've seen a car Still flip there. like that in IRA racing. All clear, all clear. But man. So I actually ran this race yesterday, and I even recorded it with all my commentary, but I, I had to trash the video. The, uh, the quality of the video is just terrible. So here we go again. A uh, pretty crazy race. Should definitely expect a lot of double-wide and even some three-wide action. Driving in practice was uh, not so interesting, but it seems when you get in a big draft, and these cars are very easy to draft with, then you got some real close racing where you can actually bang fenders a bit and such. Got one on your right. All clear, all clear. Car on your right. Stay left. And that seemed to be a bad move to go uh, Keep left. too wide. Up the hill at the cutting, I believe. Stay left. Turn four. We're on the right. Full throttle section here. Up the hill in the Mazda MX-5 Cup car. So easy to to uh, just throw the car around down the downhill section here. I'm getting all settled in. We got a first, our first real uh, drafting opportunity coming up. Down this long back straightaway. Now that I have a run, I could maybe uh, do something with it. Well, probably not this lap. So yeah, I didn't. I didn't make many changes to the setup. I pretty much just used the baseline setup. Uh, the only trouble corner I had in practice was turn two. The car would just get extremely light in that corner. And so what I did was I actually lowered the cross weight to about a 48.5%. And now the, uh, now it feels stable in turn two as well as, uh, everywhere else. It didn't actually affect the uh, cornering ability in any other corner, so that was an interesting sight to see. I also upped the rebound stiffness a bit. I saw a post on the forums that said uh, that would be a useful change, and it seems to be working out so far. The car feels a lot more responsive in the downhill section where I really needed it. But there isn't a whole lot to set up on this car. I mean, it it's a rookie car, so... I mean, it's not really about the setup, it's more about driver ability. Well, around here, it's a lot about the draft. But... Driver ability does play a bit of a role into this. My, my qualifying time, for example, with the draft was still almost two seconds slower than the... Uh, pole sitter's time, so uh, there's definitely some driving ability still in this car and track combination that uh, decides how the field gets broken up. Did not change the tire pressures, I didn't see the need for it because the tire wear was pretty much even and they were none of the tires after a five lap run were even uh, over 200 degrees I 
Well, this race so far has been a lot calmer than the uh, last one I did. In the last race I did here, I actually hit the wall right here very lightly, and it knocked knocked the uh, toe out on the right rear tire, and it definitely affected my handling and my straight line speed. So that wasn't much fun. But we managed to limp it home to a uh, 12th in that race after uh, starting 13th. But this split is a lot more competitive. There's actually a lot more people that signed up for this race, and obviously that means a lot more skilled drivers. see what we can do here. I got a bit of a run. You got one on your right. Keep left. Oh, I got all blocked clear, there. Couldn't really do anything. Car on your right. Stay left. And now I'm uh, forced out of line. Stay left. Which is never good. All clear, all clear. gonna break a bit early here. Three cars all on top of each other in front of me is not gonna work very well. Watch out. On your left. Three wide, you're on the right. You got one <sighs> Jesus. On your left. Two wide there. Clear on the left. That was really, really close. I don't think he knew I was there till the uh, last second. Man, this track is so tight, but with a tiny car like the MX-5, it's very deceiving in uh, how much room there is, and three wide, even in this car, is really, really treacherous. Gonna lift a bit here. If I could get by myself, I could Oh, shit. Anyway, if I could, uh, get by myself, I think I could break a lot deeper going down to the downhill. And I, as I thought, I, uh, almost blew my motor for a second. Can't be afraid to, uh, get close to the walls here at Bathurst. We could maybe, uh, bump draft a little bit if we need to. These cars are pretty resilient. And now I'm a hypocrite because I realized, I realized what I just said just a couple of minutes ago about the car, uh, being damaged after light contact. <laughs> See what we can do here. I mean, we could definitely make up some positions here. We just gotta get the uh, air to work in our favor. Let's see what the uh, people are saying. Don't worry. And again, it's all about survival at Bathurst. I know I actually uh, did a recent video at Bathurst in the uh, GT3 series, but uh, I figure why not? Why not do another one? Because this track is just so much fun. I don't know, in practice the car was just so boring to drive by yourself though, but when you're with a pack of cars like this, it's a little more fun. Uh, 
and like last week in practice, um, I really didn't get much of a chance to uh, practice in equally skilled traffic as I over-rev the motor again. I feel like I keep doing that because I'm used to uh, braking later, but with traffic in front of me, I uh, have to brake that much earlier, but I'm not adjusting my uh, shifting points properly. Field is still pretty close. I mean, it's broken up a bit into, uh, into everybody's, everybody seems to be in their own little group now, but, uh, but all the racing is pretty close. There really aren't any cars that are too far ahead or too far behind other cars. That is, of course, because the uh, draft is playing such a big role here. Oh, pretty good lap. I qualified with a uh, 237.2 without much of a draft. I did a 36.9, I think, in practice with a big draft on the uh, back straightaway. No draft on the front straightaway. It's just so hard to find a car that's, like, slightly slower than you, so you can you, draft with them. And in the big qualifying sessions, you're gonna get blocked in the downhill section if you, uh, try to follow slower cars, so that doesn't really work. Avoid that big bump. I'll tell you what though, this track is really good for SR being that it has uh, 23 corners. <laughs> you have a lot of opportunities to uh, gain SR. Especially in a car that's easy to drive around here like this car. really not many uh, opportunities to go off track. Now granted, there's plenty to hit the wall, but uh, that's also very easy to avoid in this car. Which may sound weird, seeing as I'm pretty much all over the walls. You got one on your right. But you can't be afraid hey, to uh, get up close and personal with the walls here. Still there. They left. All clear, all clear. As we draft past him, nice and easy. Uh-oh. Oil on the track. Car on your left. Well, that clear sucks. Sucks for him, but uh, I get a free position out of it, so yay. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get passed on the uh, straightaway real soon. Good job, man. You're in the top ten. Woo! Oh, good thing this car is ABS, because I just slammed on the brakes. I would have pretty much locked it up in any other car. Alright, now we're in some clean air, so, uh... Maybe we can try and catch up to these guys in front of us. If these guys behind me don't work together, I can maybe, uh... Pull away from their draft, as I almost hit the wall. I was a bit nervous about that for a second, but, uh, we're all clean here, so no worries. Doesn't look like I'll, uh, be able to pull away from them with that mistake, though. I 
Yeah, that 12 car is gonna get a big draft off of me through this section anyway. Try and break a little later after uh, the skyline section. See, I like to uh, like roll out of the throttle, and then when you actually start going down the hill, I uh, I I start breaking there. Probably gonna get passed in the draft here by the uh, number twelve car. Well, maybe not. He's not closing up quite as quickly as I thought he would. We have a car stopped on the right. It's been a while since I uh, drove a car that required the H shifter and uh, clutch. Well, not required, but I wanted to drive it like that. So. Uh... Thanks for that, Dila. Two and one race for you, buddy. <laughs> I noticed he was the leader just before the uh, F3 screen showed his proper position. Looks like he's weaving around like he he's testing out to see how much damage he has or something, so maybe we can get a spot from him, too. I know it may seem like fourth gear is not the proper uh, gear for this corner, but uh, third gear, I've tried it a few times in that corner. It takes you straight up to like 67, 6800 RPM, almost at the red line. So, yeah, that just does not work. Fourth gear is the way to go in turn number two. By the way, I have a uh, a new recording program. If you noticed before, some of my videos might have been choppy towards the uh, beginning and end of each video. Uh, that should that should not happen anymore. This new uh, recording software should put an end to that. I thought I was going to uh, spin out there for a second. This thing is actually uh, pretty fun to uh, try and wheel around this place. Well, unfortunately, I had to set up my uh, rear ride height pretty low to get some grip. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry, Andre. To try and get some grip in turn number two. So, I don't really have a ton of rake in the car. Which basically means I'm not as fast on the uh, straightaways. You're working. But that's the uh, price I had to pay for uh, stability and getting the uh, cross weight down a bit. Trying to catch the guy in front, mate. That was not a good corner. You def you don't want to be under 5,000 RPM in fourth gear on that corner. I know that for a fact.
we are catching this 16 car here. So maybe if we get a good run on the back straightaway, we can pass him. Nothing wrong with uh, riding the curb there. Still not totally sure what line to take in this corner. Not sure if I should just try and get straight up to the outside wall or just leave it straight for uh, stability's sake. Seems like it's a bit harder to control when you try and apex fully coming out of uh, Forrest's elbow there. It's more stable just to try and keep it in a straight line under braking. I'll tell you what, I, I do miss uh, being able to throw the gears around. I, since I've, Seeing as I've been running GT3 cars for the last few weeks, I kind of uh, miss the stick. Oh, got way too much air on that curb. That is not something you want to do for speed. Or for, uh... Keeping your suspension intact, for that matter. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here, I mean... I'm sure time is running out quickly. We should be doing, uh, 16 laps in this split. 15 laps and slower splits, probably. So, I'm just... Why are you blocking? I'm just pushing you. Yeah, we're just under, uh... a little less than halfway to go. Dude, all I'm trying to do is work with you. I don't know why you have to block. 30. It's so we can catch up, mate. Thank you. Ah, sorry, man. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't know that. Seems like some people on the roadside don't exactly understand bump drafting. And this is going to cause a wreck right in front of us. One of these guys is going to have to back out. Well, it looks like everybody made it through safely. Which is honestly a surprise to me, but whatever. Well, help me, uh... Reel, in, reel him in, though, so... No complaint from me. And he just, uh... This green car in front of me just barely tapped the wall. Got a big toe coming up on them, but I'm not going to be able to uh, go anywhere with the run. Which, of course, means the 12 car is going to catch up because they have to break so early. That is not a passing corner, so. I mean, why force it there when you can easily get past on the straightaways here? Like, get a better run out of the corner and do it on the straightaways. Don't force it in a non-passing turn. I don't know, maybe my philosophy on racing is just a little different. You got one on your right. Oh, his... his... His left front fender is all crunched up. Clear on the right. So, no surprise there that I uh, was able to pass him on the straightaway. I did side draft him a little bit. To uh, try and slow him down, and... I don't know if it really works that well in a car that's as slow as this, but... I did get around him, so... Maybe it does do something.
Let's uh, go after that 16 car now. Would definitely like to finish in the top 10 in this race. <sighs> Had to counter steer a bit. It's a bit of a scary moment. I'm more scared of losing control than I am of hitting the walls here. Which may sound a little weird. Seeing as the walls here are just so tight. Now, why is a lapper blocking a uh, car on the lead lap? Doesn't make any sense. Let the lead lap cars race and fucking get out of the way. Car on your left. Clear on the way. Wow. That was pretty ridiculous. Well, he got what's coming to him. Now you lost a couple of spots. So, uh, thanks for the 4x, buddy. You got what was coming to you. <laughs> I mean, why would you try and dive bomb from that far back? Especially when there's a, a lapped car on the other side. Makes absolutely no sense. I don't think he did any damage. I didn't hear, like, a crunch or anything, but... That was pretty stupid. So yeah, I don't know if it's the wind here, or uh, the weather in general, or the new build or whatever, but the Mazda MX-5, well the Cup version at least, definitely seems a lot more fun to drive. Uh, you can see some of my earlier videos, and uh, well last time I drove this thing was in December, and at that time I really did not like it, but I really like the way the car drives now. Definitely feels a lot more stable in uh, most respects. Again, I don't know if it's the, the new build or the wind at this particular race, but uh, it does feel a bit better. Is my voice chat on? No, nobody's just nobody's talking, I guess. I don't know if going to the outside does anything there, but I like to uh, do it anyway. Well, it looks like we're all by ourselves. Looks like we're all by ourselves for the moment. Sir Julian, I didn't want to pass you, but. Those guys behind us are fighting uh, really hard for position, so we're definitely going to pull away from them even more. I love the satisfaction of just being able to pull on the stick and uh, hit the clutch and... I don't know, it's just a lot more satisfying than using the paddle shifters. I don't care if you can technically not lift and clutch and gain more time. I, I just like the feeling of driving somewhat like a real car. Now, I, I wish we had, like, actual... Oh, come on, man. That was unnecessary. 
I can't. I got pushed from the back, man. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, man. I was on the far left. I was holding my line, but never mind. This gonna be good. Well, I guess that's it. It wasn't it. you, mate. It, it wasn't you at all. It was uh, that Andre Castro who just drove like a dick. Yeah. So then, there was nothing I could do. No, not your fault at all, Gunner. No, really, it was just uh, Andre drove ridiculously to take us out. To gain position, I'll be protesting. Uh oh. Yeah, that was obviously me. I think you guys just didn't hear it was three wide. I was three wide for about five seconds at that point. And you guys squeezed me. No, you're being stupid. Just drive. <laughs> okay, well, I'm in the race and you're not, so. Exactly. You go where you want to. Well, that was you pretty. Try and protest me, but I didn't do anything wrong. So you can't do that either. No. Let's take it after the race. I'm watching the replay here, and it's a close race, and I, you know. Oh, I'm yeah, enjoying I this. Holidays, but never mind. I hope they never shut up. I'm enjoying this too much. <laughs> oh boy. Well, looks like that's it. Forgot what I was saying before uh, that happened. That is a thing that happens when uh, drafting decides the outcome of a race, you know, get guys pushing on each other, cars racing real close together, you know. Just people getting frustrated and, uh... You're <laughs> oh, an idiot. Sorry, Gunner. If you watch the replay, you can see whose fault it was. Well, now as that all happened, uh, Attila managed to uh, pull way in front of us, and now it looks like I'm pretty much driving by myself, so uh, looks like ninth is going to be the uh, finish, so long as nothing happens. You have about five left. Oh, I did make... I just remembered I did make one other setup change for a straight line speed. I did put all the uh, toe settings to zero just to try and get a little more out of it. I don't know if it helped that much, but uh, that is what I did. Really doesn't seem like you can get close to that wall in the dipper. We have a car stopped on the left. Oh shit. Where is he? Well, it looks like he uh, managed to hit escape before anything happened, so uh, we're all good. We actually uh, chopped that gap up a bit by half a second or so to the cars in front of us. Let's see if those guys are still on the track. No. No, nobody uh, escaped out. Looks like there's just a... Uh, looks like there's just some contact. Let's see what we can do. Maybe these guys will start racing each other really hard and... Uh, we can catch up a bit. As that appears to be what is happening now along with a lot of blocking. I was talking about this in the other race, too, but, uh... Obviously, Sorry. you will not be able to hear that, but uh, in the last race, I kind of hit the wall 
like I was saying before, I hit the wall and it kind of knocked the toe out. It didn't seem like that hard of a hit, but it occurred nice, to me, nice. maybe that's uh, not the right way to think about it, because uh, in a sim, for example, uh, you can't really get a sense of speed, like you might be going 200 miles an hour at Daytona, but it'll only feel like, because of your eyes, your eyesight, I guess, I don't, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to explain here, but bear with me. It might f not feel like you're going 200 miles an hour, I'm sure you've all uh, experienced something like that, so I'm curious if maybe it's the same for, like, hitting things, and the damage model really is right, and seemingly light hits will cause a lot of damage, or maybe maybe we just don't have the uh, feeling for that right, and these minor hits really do cause some crazy contact and damage, rather. Just something to think about. I mean, it certainly doesn't feel like I'm going 133. I feel, to me, if 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 I didn't know this was a game and I was just looking at it, I would say it feels like you're going about 70 or 80. So it could be the same for uh, hitting things in games. Obviously, we don't feel g-forces and whatnot, so... Unless you're one of those lucky people who happen to have a motion simulator, then maybe you, uh, have some feeling for that. And speaking of feel, I'm still on the lookout for a pedal system, which has a clutch that you can actually, like, feel it get heavy and light as you move the pedal up and down, and the flywheel disengages and engages and whatnot. So if anybody knows about anything like that, please tell me so. Also thinking about getting a, uh, a, a tougher spring for my brake pedal in my G27. Because right now my pedals are completely stock and, you know, maybe that can give me a bit of an advantage if I have a uh, stiffer spring. As we're closing up on this number five car, he has a lot of damage to the uh, rear end of his car, so I'm sure that's creating a bit of drag. So maybe we can get around him. Well, actually, it doesn't seem like he has that much damage, but it's very noticeable. Uh oh. We got a slow car up ahead. Go right. Oh, man. <laughs> that was fucking close. That was fucking close. But it killed my momentum. You see how much how much time I lost? I lost at least a second and a half to the car in front of me. Because I had to slow down the it's the way he was, it was barely a car width wide. I'm amazed I made it through that, honestly. I know I slowed down a ton, but still, I'm I'm just amazed. With the track so tight that uh I was able to do that. Alright, this should be the white flag, and there it is. Well, it looks like we're gonna get 8th. Unless these guys wreck in front of me, I don't foresee uh, moving up in position.
Yeah, we're two seconds behind the next car and four seconds in front of the uh, ninth place car, so I definitely don't foresee uh, us getting past or passing anybody unless somebody or myself makes a mistake, so... We'll just uh, hang on here. Well, this was a much better race uh, than the uh, previous race I did. Having a uh, having a wheel that's actually uh, steering straight <laughs> helps a lot, apparently. Because in the last race, of course, my toe was knocked out, so the re the wheel was uh, biased to the right for pretty much half the race, and that certainly did not help my uh, straight line speed or my uh, cornering and braking ability. We are faster than this five. If it wasn't for that bit of bad luck, we could be passing him. But it was a definite improvement over the last race I did. Looks like the field uh, broke up partially through the race and uh, contact wasn't quite as big a deal as I thought it would be. Although I did get that one 4x, but uh, what can you do about dive bombers? All right. Nice job, man. Eighth place. Nice job, man. Out of 42 cars in the top split, that's not too bad. There's the flag, man. It's over. There you go, man. Good job, driver. Congratulations, Moreno. All right. Well, thank you for watching, guys. I know this wasn't too exciting of a race, except from the uh, the drama. But uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully, we'll stick around and do some more races in this series as we. Uh, as we head into the uh, NASCAR iRacing series full time in the uh, thick setup. Fun stuff, Chad. Only doing the fixed setup in that series because uh, I found out the open series is only yeah, doing 26 weeks. But yeah. Luckily for me, you were beat up a little bit. Alright, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.